Okay, first I would like to thank Dirk again for sending on the air tag. And um, yeah, it was interesting. It went to Brasilia in Brazil, but it didn't go the way I expected it to go. It did quite a bit of a detour. And um, when we get further into the pictures, uh, I will explain at length how that all fitted together. It was just an amazing journey. A long one and an amazing one. The air tech went straight to Frankfurt Airport and I said, oh, here we go, we're flying out of Frankfurt. Yeah, that wasn't the case. It was floating around uh, Frankfurt Airport and ended up in the uh, cargo center. And I said, oh, okay, maybe it goes into a plane that uh, just uh, delivers cargo, but no, nope, it uh, disappeared. I didn't hear anything for quite a few days. And um, suddenly that uh, air tech sent a ping from the middle of France. And I said, what the hell is going on? How did we get there? And uh, yeah, it went absolutely amazing. I just could not believe it. And yeah, there was very little in pings I got on the way, so there wasn't much there. Okay, now let's see how we ended up in Lisbon, because that is where I got the next ping. It was from Lisbon Airport from the cargo center, and then I could see the air tech moving across to the terminal, and it ended up on gate 42. So that gave me the handle how to find the flight, and that was a flight from Lisbon to Sao Paulo with Air Portugal uh, TP87, I think it was. And from then on, I could follow the plane all the way to Sao Paulo. And um, yeah, it took quite a while. It's a, it's a long flight. It's a long flight, but therefore uh, got a bit of time on my hand to follow the plane. And here you can see the plane taxiing off and um, then it took off and flew all the way. Yeah, it's interesting to follow a flight uh, around the world. So here it goes, Lisbon to Sao Paulo and uh, with flight radar I got all these pings from flight radar and here we have now a very interesting feature. I will let it uh, go and then you can see the plane literally landing in Sao Paulo. So first you see another plane landing and then I put the little arrow there you can see the landing lights of the plane descending and right after this is our flight uh, TP87 TP and it didn't land. It had to do a go around. That was a very interesting feature. And um, I recorded it all, and um, I'll let you now listening into the um, uh, traffic control uh, voices and see for yourself how the plane is landing. Foxtrot Papagol foi assim um triplo sete, aliás, um trinta a duas milhas da cabeceira, agiliza a liberação da pista na Golf à sua esquerda. Agilizando para Golf, o Fox Papagol. Portugal go around the wind is 280 degrees 6 knots. Going around. Air Portugal 087, call 119, decimal 15. 119, 15, Portugal 087. Liberando na Golf, Fox para Golf. Ciente. Bom, 
1779, evento 280 graus 59, pista 27 esquerda, autorizado pouso. 27 esquerda, autorizado pouso, bora 7. Aqui você pode ver o go around on flight radar. The plane is doing a loop and then coming back into the uh, airport. Four, go to the star, altimeter 1013, continue your approach and stand by for landing cars. Continue the approach and from 454. Tower, good uh, morning, Air France 454, and final 27 left. Good morning, Air France 454, go to the star. And here we see the complete flight on flight radar. Yeah, after the plane had landed and taxied into the terminal, the uh, air tag made its way across the, the airport and ended up in the cargo center. It stood there for a day or two. And then it went on a long run around the countryside. It went to several mail distribution or cargo distribution centers. And um, I could follow it barely. Only at the centers I got a ping. I got nothing in between. And I couldn't make head and tail out of the way it took to get to its what I call semi-final destination. And that is this uh, mail center here. And uh, apparently there's a bit of a story to it. Apparently when you send a parcel to Brazil, it's not easy to get it to the recipient. Some payments are required. And that was a hold up here at this um, mail distribution center. It sat there for nearly three weeks. But after the um, payment was made, uh, it was only uh, a matter of a few days and it was on its way again on the way to Brasilia. And uh, let's have a look at it. Yeah, and then we were on the way. Um, got a few pings on the roads this time, but only two or three, that was nothing much. Just to show you how in the middle of the countryside that was. And then the air tech arrived in Brasilia. This is the mail distribution center where it arrived and it sat there for a day and a half. And um, then it moved from there to the suburbs. And uh, that mail distribution center is not that far away from its final destination. And um, when it uh, arrived at the next mail center or post office. I don't know if it's a post office, but looks like a little mail center. It was then delivered the very next day um, to our recipient in Brasilia. And now Soraya is the proud host of AirTag number three. Okay, so far for this adventure. I hope uh, we will see a little bit more in the next one and hopefully it's a bit quicker than having that air tag on its way for over four weeks okay guys see you later